Hello, DCAP here. Uh, tutorial number two uh, on my lessons on Visual Basic 6.0. This is uh, a bouncing ball. Last lesson was uh, Hello World full screen. So let's get going. Start up Visual Basic, choose Standard XE. Now we've got the uh, Standard XE. Double click it to get to the code. Right in the code x speed equals 10, that's the left right speed, y speed equals 10. Okay, at the beginning, in the general, we state dim x speed as an integer, dim y speed as an integer. That declares the variables x and y speed, which left and right and up and down. Okay, another event on key up. I'm going to stick in some code so if you press the alt key and it's alt f4 then end or if you press the escape key then end so just to read it out if shift equals vb alt mask then if key code equals vb key f4 then end end if end if then the next thing if key code equals vb key escape then end end if so the first bit deals with the pressing Alt F4 and the second bit deals with pressing the escape key. And these are just nice things to put into any program to let people get out in a hurry if they want to. Right so what we've got to do, let's close that, we need to put a shape in using the shape command we draw a shape, change it from a rectangle to a circle, uh, fill style from transparent to solid and change the fill colour to something more friendly like orange. So there's the ball called shape one. The next thing is to put a timer in. This allows the animation to happen and this is where we're going to put the game engine uh, which for this is going to be very basic and uh, just move the ball about. So double click that and it's blank at the moment. Let's put some code in. So we basically put in shape one dot left equals shape one dot left plus x speed so go uh, right a bit shape one dot top equals shape one dot top plus y speed uh, go down a bit so they move it left and down so if we just left it like that uh, we get an animated ball that just goes down and off the screen so then we have to put four conditions in to check whether it's hit the um, the right of the screen whether it's hit the the bottom of the screen, where it's hit the left of the screen, or it's where it hit the top of the screen. I'll be going over those four conditions in a, in a minute. Uh, when you hit that condition, x speed equals x speed times minus one, or y speed equals y speed times minus one. By times it by minus one, you flip it from positive to negative or negative to positive, and this allows the bounce to happen. So if I just go to the form for a second and move it up here. This is zero, 00, which is the top left of the screen, and as it gets bigger, it moves down to the bottom right of the screen. About 3,960 on the X, comma, 2,400 on the Y. This is using the TWIP system. Uh, the next lesson I'll be changing to pixels, but for now we're using the default in Visual Basics, which is TWIPs. Not particularly brilliant. So along here on the X axis, you notice that the Y stays at zero whilst the X gets bigger and bigger and on the Y axis the X stays zero and the Y gets bigger and bigger so as it goes along it hits the side and then bounces um, so let's try it and it's not working because I forgot to put the interval in so properties of the the timer needs to be one and this is for one millisecond if you don't do that you get what I just had which is the ball not moving so let's do it again and then we have a bouncing ball uh, if you're following along then you'll find out that the um, the image tears a bit when it's animating this is because Visual Basic is not particularly great at animation so the next lesson lesson three I'll be talking about bitlet and using a secondary back buffer so using two buffers to make it much smoother animation but for now this is a bouncing ball 
So let's go over in detail the uh, conditions that I'm using. So in the timer command, which you can get to by double clicking the timer, private sub timer one underscore timer, every one millisecond shape one dot left equals shape one dot left plus x speed, shape one dot top equals shape one dot top plus y speed. If shape one dot left greater than brackets form one dot width minus shape one dot width minus brackets form what one dot width minus form one dot scale width close brackets close brackets then x speed equals x speed times m minus one and if so if it goes all the way to the right hand of the screen screen then it will bounce the x speed so it will go the other way on the left and right next one if shape one dot top greater than form one dot height minus shape one dot height minus form one dot height minus form one dot scale height close brackets close brackets then uh, there you go y speed equals y speed times minus one right bounce on the y so if it goes right to the bottom of the uh, screen then bounce up the next one if shape one dot left less than zero then x speed equals x speed times minus one so if it goes all the way to the left then bounce if shape one dot top less than zero then y speed equals y speed times minus one so if it goes all the way to the top then bounce so these two are a bit pretty easy to understand less than zero less than zero that's for the top left but these ones take a bit more explanation it's quite a long command and you can play around with it but this is the one I found that actually works and the reason it's so long let's go for this one again if shape one dot left greater than brackets form one dot width minus shape one dot width minus form one dot width minus form one dot scale width right it's taking the form width then it's minusing the shapes width to make sure it doesn't just fly off the screen and then we've had to I've had to add this little bit extra which is the difference between uh, the act the width and the actual width when you take into account the fact that they've got the um, the minimize and maximize bar which throws everything out so this puts it back into um, the proper order so you don't go over the, the the side so and the same with this one if shape one dot top greater than brackets form one dot height minus shape one dot height minus brackets form one dot height minus form one dot scale height close brackets close brackets then uh, y speed equals y speed times minus one and if again if it goes all the way to the bottom take into account the the height of the actual shape um, the form height and the form scale height so the difference between the height and uh, the height without the bar uh, then then do the bounce and the reason we have to put this minus scale height in and the minus shape one dot width is that we're only working with dot left and dot top so we've got to take into account that it's got a width and it's got a height if you don't then it will fly off the screen try it without it and see what happens uh, and there you go uh, you have a bouncing ball next lesson it will be using bitblit and uh, two buffers.